Laptop versus real tube amp. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute. The planning was to make a comparison video, but as we can hear, it doesn't sound too similar. This made me wonder what happened. I wasn't planning on making identical sounds, but more to make both sound good on their own right. But that it be so vastly different was something I didn't expect. And that led me to a pretty interesting hypothesis. So dialing in a sound on a loud tube amp is very different than doing the same on a VST plugin through monitors or headphones. The sheer volume of the tube amp makes me modest in the settings. I normally like a very bright sparkly sound, which you can hear in the VST, but not in the tube amp. When dialing in, I'm always a little bit reluctant of the extremes, afraid that the sound guy, band members, or even the neighbors are going to complain, which happened on multiple occasions. The same goes for the following sound. Listen to the delays, the gain, the highs. It's all more extreme in the VST. So one thing I'm definitely going to experiment more with is settings. So this is the clone and this is the setting I would usually use. This is the gain, this is the tone and this is the master. In order to get more to the sound of the VST I had to pull the tone control all the way up to the right. Maybe even at 3 or 4 o'clock and the gain had to be much higher as well. So maybe when you're very close to the amp it can sound harsh but overall it can be a much better sound. <laughs>
So now we know the plugin is usable, but I'm sure that some could lose the feel when dialing in the sounds. It's just not the same. The knobs are pretty small and changing the setting with the mouse and then trying it out again, it's just, it's weird. And for me, not the best way to shape a sound. That's why I like the camper profiling amp so much. It's just like a real amp. But when working in the studio and your song just need that extra guitar part, it's super easy to just plug your guitar in, load up your favorite preset and play. Just use whatever you think sounds best and is most convenient. This was Paul, and if you haven't done that already, please like, subscribe or share this video and thank you so much. See you next time, goodbye, have a great day.